Do a Julie sync clap clap. That was good. That was a better one. That's better. You gotta like cup. Christian, I know how to clap. <laughs> it just doesn't always work. I don't clap like this. <laughs> I know how to clap. But it was making that sort of like, I can't even make a clap noise that bad. I know. I think it's because I wasn't doing it hard enough because it was really hurting. <laughs> Hi, I'm Christian. When I was a little kid, I joined Cub Scouts. And then I quit. And I'm not totally sure why I quit, and I've kind of always regretted that decision. So here's my idea. I want some adventure, but I can't become an official Boy Scout. So I'm gonna do it all on my own. I'm gonna do the entire curriculum of Scouts from Cub all the way up to Eagle in one year called Old Scout. Welcome to episode 31 of Old Scout. Uh, this week we're doing the Pathfinding uh, Merit Badge. Pathfinding. Uh, Julie's done a lot of research. <laughs> like you, you've been more of the guide for this episode yeah. than other episodes. Like you've, Like I've just looked over and you're doing like hours and hours of map looking up and yeah. looking through historic directories. So what are the general requirements for the Pathfinding Merit Badge? So this book is from 1925. Mm -hmm. So the requirements include knowing certain parts of your neighborhood within a half mile radius. Mm -hmm. So that includes the location of livery stables, garages, and blacksmith shops, <laughs> the nearest meat markets, Bakeries, groceries, and drugstores. Uh, the nearest police station, hospital, that's normal. Doctor, yep. fire alarm, mm. which is not in your house at the time. Right, it's on the street. It's on the street. Yep. Fire alarms, telegraph and telephone offices and railroad stations, and the principal public buildings, uh, schools, and churches. What is a livery stable? Livery stables are where all the horses were kept. Okay, so instead of like a car parking garage that we have now, it was like a parking garage for horses. <laughs> for <all the> horses, <laughs> yeah. 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 That's fun. Um, we also don't have any blacksmith shops. I mean, I guess we have metalworking. There, there's probably like an artisanal West Philly blacksmith <laughs> well, we that lives have with iron like, shops. that lives like on our block that we just don't know. Yes, there are ironwork <laughs> companies, although there are not as many as you'd think. Um, okay, so instead of knowing our neighborhood in its, in its 2019 state, yeah, what are we going to do? We are going to pretend we are a Boy Scout in 1925, mm -hmm. and we are making our map mm. of our neighborhood as it was in 1925. Great. Okay, and so we went to the free library yeah. to look at the old maps. Yes, their map collection. Their map collection, um, that is, <laughs> I know you you just get excited thinking about it. I just want to old go back. Maps. I just want to live there. <laughs> just live in the old map uh, department at the mm -hmm. free library. Um, so we'll go there now. Julie, hi. Um, can you explain what we're looking at? Yes, we are in the maps collection at the library, and right now we're looking at the 19, um, 10 to 1924 uh, insurance map of our block and the surrounding blocks. And so we're trying to. Uh, sort of just get an idea of what our block and our neighborhood look like. So we have Chester Avenue down here um, at the bottom. And then this is 48th Street along the side. We have 47th in the middle. Over there we have 46th. And then 
of Springfield, Windsor, Warrington, and then all the way up to Baltimore. This is our house. This house with this little auto bit in the back um, is gone now. This is just the community garden and side. Well, so like this corner is Chester Foods. So that was a home. That, that was a home. Gone. Behind it, this are like auto parking. Which structure. is now salt and pepper, right? Yeah. I think that's where salt and pepper so. is. Are, do you, are these apartments still there maybe? Yeah, I think so. I think so. And then this little row. Oh look, see these say S and D. What's that mean? Store and dwelling. So I guess the store on the front, or on the bottom floor, and then dwelling on the top. And then over here you have a lot of weird things, like stable, a soap company, bakery, a garage, laundry, candy factory. I wish that was still there. <laughs> okay, so this, this um, book of maps was originally published in 1910 and then every few years they would paste in revisions. Instead of replacing the entire page and redrawing everything. Redraw right, instead of they resurveying, just... they, would re they would survey just the things that had changed. This little symbol here is a fire alarm box, which instead of having fire alarms in your house, there would be fire alarm boxes like spread throughout the neighborhood. And so if there was a fire, you would have to run, run to the box, and I think like, or maybe it was a telegraph, I don't know. <laughs> this is the house, I think, the building where we vote. Mm -hmm. It might still be the same. The dog park is where those... The dog park is where the, these are. Yeah. This house was still there. Remember when we moved in, they tore mm -hmm. it down. Yep. It was still standing. Right here, you see like wagon shed and stable. A lot of these then became like auto house, auto, garage over here. So as people were, you know, buying cars and switching over, what used to be stables became garages because people didn't have driveways and there wasn't street parking yet. So you had to keep You couldn't your... park on the street? I don't think so. And you can, they have their contact information on that page. Yeah. 46th in Baltimore, over to 45th, we have a butcher shop. We have... A shoe shop, a carpet shop, a bunch of other stores that aren't marked, um, a garage, lots of garages, the Regent Garage, a uh, Chinese laundry, a plumbing shop, another carpet shop. This is Clark Park, um, which is, this is where the big bowl is. So now we're at Baltimore, and we've got 48th, 49th, 50th. You have this big bank building, which at the time was Belmont Trust Company, um, which is now Mariposa Co-op. In the corner over here, the Philadelphia Firehouse Chemical Engine Number 13, which is where Dock Street is now. Yes, the Briar Ice Cream Company. That's what I was looking for. So this is we've like shifted actually. So here's the Schuylkill. Here's all the different railroads. 46 and Woodland. So Clark Park's right here, this way. On 43rd and Woodland, there used to be this huge post office garage where they would work on all of the horse-drawn carriages and then later they were cars. And then just down the street was the Briars Ice Cream Company. Whoa, could have had so much ice cream. I know. <laughs> Why did it go I know away? that that's the, typically what happens at factories is they just hand it out at the door, <laughs> right? <laughs> <Totally>. <laughs> that's how factories work. Okay, so this is 48th and 47th in Chester. So this is our block. This is where our house should be, but there's a single family home here. This is 1895? This is 1895. Yep. So later, um, at least by 1901, this plot has been divided here into an L shape. And there's a house, a stone house here, um, and the stable, and that's one property. And then this has been like built into three twin structures. 
and ours is one of those. Oh, look at Baltimore, it's empty. None of these little shops existed. So the, the church here on 48th and Baltimore didn't exist. The church here at 47th and Springfield is just small, they don't have their big building yet. There's this cherry tree hotel at Baltimore and 47th. Hmm. That's really interesting. Oh. Just how like bare it is. Yeah. They just so happen to have an exhibit about the city and its changes over time and it all involves maps, which is perfect. <laughs> there's like transit maps, there's like housing maps, there's parks. This is a map of, well it's like an idea of like the way the land was when the settlers arrived and stuff. So Philly is kind of like this little like peninsula. You've got like the Delaware here, and you've got the Schuylkill that runs here. And so Philly is this little nub. So West Philly is over here. I think this is Mill Creek, which used to run right through our neighborhood. And now what is it? Oh, they bricked it over and made it a sewer. Oh no, that's so sad. Yeah. So there used to be a creek here and now it's a, just a sewer? Yeah. This is Kinsissing, the place of large shells. <laughs> This map is interesting to me because it's like from 1886, which uh -huh. is very near where that insurance map was made. Use your shadow finger. Okay, shadow finger. Um, oh shit, this is weird because it's way up here. This street here. Uh huh. That is woodland. Huh. This street here. Yeah. Is Baltimore. I think this is probably Chester. And I think this is King Sessing. Whoa. King Sessing used to run all the way to Woodland. That's crazy. Originally there was, there was like, you know, people crossed the river here. People crossed the river up here and here and then down here. And they were all, before there were bridges, there were ferries. There was a middle ferry an upper ferry. Yes. And a lower so ferry. So stuff developed at Middle Ferry, but our neighborhood actually was developed more spreading from Lower Ferry or Gray's Ferry. Like it didn't just spread this way, it actually like spread up hmm. from all these different places. Well here's, this says 49th Street Station. So 49th Street and the railroad would be right next to where our house is. A block away, a block and a half away from our house. Yeah. So we got home from the library. Uh, we had looked at the historical maps. You did the rest of your research, <laughs> which was a lot. So much. Um, uh, and then it was time to actually draw the map. So here's the map. Okay, so um, I'm done outlining the streets, and so now we got to uh, mark all of the specific places of interest. 
uh, on the map. Let me show you a map of my neighborhood. It's a one half mile radius around my house. North is that way. Here's the key. This is Baltimore Avenue and Springfield Avenue, Chester Avenue and Woodland Avenue, and then 43rd Street, Clark Park, and 47th Street, 49th Street, and 52nd Street. This is where we live, right here. The red dots are for doctors. There's a lot of those. The pink dots are for bakeries and confectioneries. I wish those were still there. The purple dots are meat markets. And the dark green dots our groceries. The light green dots are drug stores. This one is now Loco Pez. And this one is Green Line Cafe. These blue shapes are churches. And these yellow shapes are schools. This orange shape was the firehouse. It's now Dock Street Brewery. And the little orange dots are fire alarm boxes that you would have to run to if there was a fire. The gray outlines are garages. This little tiny garage is now our current beer store, Salt and Pepper the Third. Here's the only blacksmith. These are the railroad tracks, and this is 49th Street train station. The purple shapes are public buildings, represented here by the King Sessing Recreational Center and the King Sessing Library Branch. Thank you for letting me show you my map. Thank <laughs> you.